Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Mango Cream Pop from Decadent Ales is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Mango Cream Pop by Decadent Ales. Uh, this is a double IPA brewed with Madagascar vanilla beans, um, turbinado sugar, and mango added. Uh, it does have the ABV as 8.6%, no IBUs on untapped, um, all mosaic dry hopped, which mosaic... I guess depending on how it's used, you could get bubble gum, a berry, or like a citrus out of it. Um, canned on 10-23-18, I did pick this up at Hoffman Street Grocery, uh, $5.19. I think most of the other decadent ales, beers uh, I have had or we have tried have been good. Um, by Untap, this is considered a milkshake IPA, but I believe all the other ones that we've had have all been milkshake IPAs also. Not as... I was thinking it was going to be more creamier color, but we'll see. Uh, white head, small and medium bubbles mixed throughout the thing. About a half a finger ahead, bubbles on the side, I would say are divided between big ones and little ones. Very yellow in color, hazy, I cannot see through it. It does look like there's particles, yeast, and protein floating in there. I'm not seeing any bubbles coming up at all. I was thinking it was going to be more of an orange color also, but oh well. Let's go ahead and smell. Big tropical smell, like citrus tropical. Yeah. It's like a tropical fruit citrus with maybe a tiny bit of sweetness, and it's low. Kind of almost like a guava, like a sour guava. That's weird. Yeah. Okay, let's taste. You're, you're getting a lot of that vanilla bean up front, like a creamy vanilla bean. almost almost like it's too much like it overpowers like everything then that citrus comes in big citrus so we go from a huge dose of vanilla creamy vanilla into a big citrus with more cream very light light to medium not fully to medium I'm not getting mango Maybe there's a little bit of mango mixed in there, but that vanilla to me is way too overpowering. Like it's, that mango is really fighting to come out in this. Aftertaste, vanilla, creamy, citrus, some bitterness. Um... I think this is a big disappointment. I don't get mango for it being a mango cream pop. 
no way I would pick out the dominant flavor to be mango in this. Yeah. There is some bitterness in the back also. But yeah, I can't I can't find a true mango or a fruit. To me, it's mainly citrus. It's good. It's a little overdone. I would probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5 on this one. I think that vanilla bean needs to be toned back. I think the lactose, right? This is using lactose or turbinado sugar. I think that sugar component mixed with that vanilla bean is way too much in this beer, especially for a mango beer. I would have thought, if anything, it would have been more tropical fruit, almost like kind of what you're getting out of the smell. And that's not what you're getting out of the taste to me. Yeah, little bitterness in the very back that makes you think of like a rind, maybe a touch of a fruit rind. But, yeah, 3.75 out of 5. Untapped. Three of my friends have rated this average 4.08 out of 5. A little over a thousand people have had or rated this average 4.07 out of 5. Mike says really tasty mango. Which I'm going to, if you've had this, let me know in the comments below. But I don't get mango. I get more citrus than anything. Orange pop version. Second to only the orange pop. I haven't had the orange pop. Uh, mango sweetness. I, I'm i going to stick to my guns. There's really no mango in here. But good one. Definitely one. It, I probably wouldn't pick it up. I definitely wouldn't pick it up for $5.19. I don't think it's worth it. Especially because that mango is really not coming out. Milkshake IPA, I want it a little bit thicker. I don't know why it's this color. I, I think it should be a little darker. I don't know how they introduced the mangoes to this, but I would think the color would be a little bit darker. I want a little bit more creaminess and not as much vanilla um, out of this to make it like a pop because a, a cream pop, uh, in my eyes, in a cream pop, the outside is, say, the flavor. Then you've got the cream in the center. This almost tastes like the opposite, where the cream is on the outside. Then you've got a little stripe of the mango. And that cream is really taking over everything in this beer, for the most part. And you have to fight to find those. And if you're going to call it a mango, I think that fruit should be on the outside, not the inside. So... Thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, happy brewing.